Good morning guys, here another day. Fernando, uh, fellow Overland Brigade uh, buddy uh, in his LR3 just picked me up. We're gonna go pick up the Land Cruiser, had a window tinted and uh, can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, see what you guys think and his first reaction on the window tinting. But I think he needs to get his windows tinted as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to get him to, to do that as well. Show them what do you think? I dig it. That that looks that looks uh, trail ready. I love the way it makes the paint stand out a little bit more, uh, more privacy, and it'll keep the inside of the truck cool. So I dig it. All right, before I show you guys my first impression, liking it. Uh, I went limo tint in the back. I'll give you the percentage here shortly, uh, and then I went a, a one shade lighter uh, in the front uh, just for visibility. And just kind of keep the police here in California off me. Uh, I think we'll be all right, but let me show you guys. There you go. So limo tin in the back to protect whatever we have in the in the cargo area, and a, a light shade, a, a lighter sh shade on the front. Obviously, the front is always going to be lighter than the rear because there is light coming through the windshield, so that automatically gives you uh, probably one or two step shade lighter than this so liking it and also depending on the color of your interior if you have black or you have brown uh, also uh, helps with the darkness but overall liking the tint through the back you can't you can, you can see through the front you can see across you can't see into it so I could just imagine uh, and this was this is with this is with the Sun coming through the back so like, literally I could barely see anything through there, so that was uh, the whole point of tinting this vehicle, is to get maximum protection uh, from the sun and from people looking inside of it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the tent that I got here at Hotspot in Chula Vista. So Danny's been hooking up all my cars, shoot, for over 20 years, and I've uh, recommended so many people here as well. So I recommend them if you're in the South Bay or in the San Diego area, it's worth it. Make sure to set up an appointment with him because he's super busy all day, every day. So let's, uh, let's go see the window tape he used. Ooh. So, so, so much better. Like right now it's morning sun but totally, totally so much better from the factory OEM window tint. Um, and now I'm, I'm actually excited to drive it more um, just because of the tint, you know? You get that privacy, you get that, um, uh, the cooler look as far as the, how it looks on the exterior, but not only that, but the cooler feeling inside um, from the sun. So can't wait to enjoy this a little bit more. Obviously, if I still wanted to get some light through the front two doors, oops, sorry. If I want to get light through the front two windows because of the police, just open up the sunroof, that'll give me more light through the fronts. Uh, but most of the times nowadays, uh, police officers are a little bit more lenient on tinning, tinning the, the front two windows but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna do a walk around once i get to the house and i'll uh, give it to you guys then and yeah appreciate it make sure to hit the subscribe and uh keep following this channel uh and watching what i document on all my cars my life and everything so let's get going so it's back at the house so one thing regarding the land cruisers or some of these uh, 90s or early 2000 vehicles is they utilized a factory mirror tint uh, or mirror glass in the rear part of it as you guys could tell and, and if you guys have Land Cruisers or vehicles in that same um, year range you guys would know that the back has a mirror tint so that's why it reflects where the front don't have a mirror tint so it's straight black so that's only one downside about window tint in these unless you ordered <coughs> OEM factory glass for the rears uh, from another country, I'm assuming Japan, that were factory clear, then you would get a perfect 
color match window tint all the way across other than that i mean the vehicle looks great i need to wash it it looks good already with the falcon tires on it they perform well i've got some mud on it from this past weekend <coughs> windows tinted are great so now we just go ahead and move on to the next upgrade who knows what i'm going to do just yet most likely it's going to be suspension upgrade i want to make sure that all my suspension is done before you know messing with any other accessories so um just to give you guys a a uh, feature update would be upper control arms you know tie rods inner and outer tie rods if needed uh cv boots and if needed uh, i'm gonna do lower uh rear lower and upper training arms so we don't break the factory ones and so we got stronger ones and we're gonna go ahead and do uh i uh i buck suspension with i buck um shocks uh, in the rear and I mean shocks all the way around big shout outs to our friends over at Ibach are gonna make sure that we were get taken care of on this particular vehicle and build so Ibach rear springs Ibach shocks all the way around the front torsion bars are either gonna go ARB or some other uh, product most likely sorry not or ARB but old man emu uh, that and slee uh, differential uh, drop for the front so um, yeah, so that's the plans. That's the game plan. I'm gonna walk around it just to kind of give you guys a little bit more uh, Content, but the back window looks great. Like I said, it's gonna protect everything that we have inside From people looking into it and not only that but the Sun so when we go ahead and put uh, a cooler or a refrigerator in there It's gonna keep everything a lot cooler and temperatures down. So that's that's the biggest thing But here's the side vehicle from the shaded area so you could actually tell a little bit more here where it has a mirror color to it so and then this is completely black compared to this so <laughs> they do sell a um, a metalized finish uh, mirror tint for the front but it won't justify or won't match the front so I went ahead and just call it a day and it is what it is so but I'm overall uh, happy with it. I'll put uh, Danny at Hotspots information in the description below if you guys are interested in tinting your vehicle. He is, like I said, done a lot of my cars. I've referred over, you know, 50 people over there in the last 20 years. Uh, his prices are awesome. Um, so I'll put on the description below uh, his information if you guys care to give him some love and um, support and get your car winded, tinted there. So, yeah, that is it. And we might do something something for the front but i'll keep that keep you guys posted now hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll catch you guys on the next video on the next up, uh, upgrade and on the next upgrade on the angry panda eclipse 1999 all-wheel drive turbo so catch you guys later